They deliver insight, metrics, and analytics from the cloud to some of the world's leading companies. Can software data equal hard dollars? At a time when nearly every enterprise on earth recognizes that it needs to embrace digital or die, it's more important than ever for businesses to know exactly how well their software and their websites are doing. That's where a company like New Relic comes in. They provide a cloud-based software as a service platform that helps companies understand, monitor, and measure both what their business software is doing and how users are interacting with it in real time. Does it work? New Relic's analytics engine gives companies tremendous insight into their digital operations, making it easy to fix problems before they happen, while also providing a wealth of data about what their customers are doing. So let me give you a couple examples here. Remember the disastrous launch of healthcare.gov website, which had so many bugs it was practically unused first? Well, the administration called in a team of Silicon Valley tech experts to solve the problem. And within 48 hours, they started using New Relic, which only helped to fix the site's performance. Here's another one. News Corp uses New Relic to better understand their customers' digital experience because it shows them what their users are reading, whether they're subscribers, and whether they sign up for a subscription after perusing a certain number or type of articles. That's incredibly valuable information. Now, after plunging from $40 last November down to $20 and change at February lows, thanks to a sell-off in all of these fast-growing but not yet profitable tech stocks, made worse, of course, by LinkedIn and Tableau software imploding four and a half months ago, a New Relic's been working its way ever higher. So can the stock continue to rebound? Let's take a closer look with Lou Cerny. And he's the founder and CEO of New, of New Relic. Learn more about his company and his prospects. Mr. Cerny, welcome to Mad Lou, our viewers are bombarded by software analytics companies. So they kind of just think they got to be all the same, but they're not. Well, like the most important thing about what's going on is that businesses of all types feel this urgent need to become digital. Every right. boardroom discussion is about digital, right? And so if you're going to make your company digital because your customers are going digital, how do you realize the return on that investment? How do you actually make sure your digital is working? That's what software analytics is about. It's right. measuring your digital investment. We're the only software analytics company in the cloud. We're a pure play cloud company, 100% SaaS, and, and we've got all the benefits S of being a SaaS company. Okay, so I'm an industrial company, yeah. and I'm trying to figure out how to be able to have gross margins, yeah. how to be able to beat my guys. So yeah. obviously, Internet of Things. Sure. What do I do? I go to you? Well, absolutely. If you have any software business, let's look at GE, for example. Okay. So GE, GE is globally standardized on New Relic for all its software initiatives. And if you see globally any of Globally standardized on New Relic means that you're the platform for their initiatives? Basically, we're the platform that measures every software initiative, the modern software initiative that they are doing inside GE. They're becoming a software company. How do you know if your software is working, whether it's actually delivering a great experience? New Relic provides the dashboard that helps them measure their software to improve their software. Okay, so let's say I'm the government and I want to do a healthcare.gov. I want to sure. I need you to figure out whether it's working. Absolutely, and and you know there was a before and after with healthcare.gov. Before New Relic, it was front page news that it wasn't working. Right. Within days of calling New Relic, hundreds of people were using our product because it's so easy right. to use. That that was the turnaround that got healthcare.gov on track and now is delivering you know incredible service for millions of people. I try to explain to people that uh, when you look at a company like New Relic, you're not looking at earnings per share. You're looking at uh, land grab. You're looking yep. at being able to make it so that no one else comes in and looking at exceptional growth. You this is your mantra, right? Well, we are a growth company, absolutely, and we, we expect to continue to grow. Uh, we're, we've never been a growth at all cost company. We've delivered 1,000 basis points of margin improvement for the last two years running. We expect to do it again next year. Um, but we just see, like, if every business is becoming a digital business and there are these legacy companies that are stuck with on-premise business models, there are going to be new leaders that emerge. I think there's a Salesforce-like opportunity in and around our space, and we are the only cloud company, pure SaaS company in the space. So we think we've got an opportunity and we've got to focus on our growth. Okay, so let's say I've got to compete with Amazon, or I have to be on Amazon Web Services, don't know how to do it, and I'm a retailer. Yeah. Uh, I bring in New Relic to tell me well, you know, how not to screw it up? Yeah, it's so easy, Jim. Basically, first you sign up for an account, then within minutes you're seeing inside your software and you're seeing, am I open for business? Is the shopping cart working? That's step one. Step two is, what are our customers doing? What's the end customer experience? Is it fast? Is it slow? How do I make it faster? But third, and this is where we're really doing exciting stuff, because we're seeing the digital customer experience, we can help them grow their business. You're learning about your digital customer. And when you learn stuff about your digital customer from the data we provide, you can actually make the digital customer happier and that grows the business.
Okay, when speaking of grow business, you did start for some of the smaller and medium size. Yes. Can you give me an example of a smaller medium who we don't think of a smaller medium anymore, in part because of, of what your company's done? You know, one of our first 50 customers was Airbnb when they were just really? a small shop, and now they still, you know, they, we've grown with them. So this is another part of our growth story. You know, it's not just a one-time kind of interaction with New Relic. As our customers grow, as their footprint grows in the cloud or on-premise, um, we grow with them. Okay. And so, so that's, that's one of the reasons why the typic, we have uh, the typical New Relic customer grows their investment in New Relic over time. Now, I, one that I happen to love, and I just, I'm just i picking it because a lot of people who watch our show are symbiotic, MLB.com. Yeah. I, if I have trouble getting on MLB.com, I get a customer service person. Is that somehow rooted through you? Well, here's, here's the thing. Again, like they, MLB built a billion-dollar digital business know, almost out of nowhere. With a brilliant right? guy. Right? And so because you know, our national pastime has moved not only from the ballpark of the TV to the phone. Right. right, or the tablet. So, so, so MLB uses us to make sure that that tablet or that phone experience is world class. And if people can't see the game or see the stats, um, then they're going to have a bad experience. They may never use it again. Right. And that billion dollar initiative is in jeopardy. So that's where they use us to measure the health of the system and improve the health of the system. Okay, so Lou, I, I deal with a lot of older line uh, technology companies that are big. I deal with IBM. IBM says, listen, we want to be in software analytics. Right. They look at the size of your company. They know they could buy it. You lose your company if that happens. What happened? Do you want to lose your company for, on behalf of the shareholders who want to make a little money? Look, we... The most important thing at New Relic is for us to love the journey. I love my journey at this company. I still build software as a part of New Relic as part of my job because, like, just like you're doing what you love and you yeah, bring that I am. passion, right? I am. Right. So as long as we're just focused on delighting our customers, we're not done building products. I can't wait to come back to you sometime and tell you what we're building next. Um, right. But and, and and so that's our focus: delight our customers, ride this wave to digital. We think that our best days are ahead of us. Okay. One of the things that no one seems to understand is uh, how you can be both friends with Amazon and enemies. We see that all the time. You're on Amazon Web Services. What is the We're relationship? Friends. It's amazing because basically think about Amazon wants more and more businesses to move their workloads right. to the cloud as fast as possible. Right. What's the hesitation? Salesforce. Yeah, absolutely. So, so what's the hesitation to do it? I want to make sure that I de-risk that move. New Relic de-risks the move to the cloud by okay. measuring the effectiveness of the software, you know, in on-premise and on the cloud. So Amazon loves us because we accelerate migrations to their cloud as well as Azure, as okay. well as other Microsoft cloud companies. Cloud so company. There isn't a cloud company we don't partner with. Well, the uh, last question I have is, is that New Relic is a relatively small company. Is that because w w Wall Street doesn't know how to value software analytics anymore? Because your opportunity should be that your market cap should be somewhat of a function more of the total addressable market. Yours is huge, and the market cap's not where it should be. Well, look, we were talking uh, just before this that, like, I think in the very early days of Salesforce and Cisco, it was really hard to understand the size of the market. We are trying to create a market that heretofore hasn't really been fully divine, defined. And, and we feel like, you know, over time, Investors will figure out that this is a big opportunity. We just focus on delighting our customers. We think things will take care of themselves. I totally agree with you. It, it, and both of those will happen, and the stock will go higher. That's Lou Cerny. He's the founder and CEO of New Relic, N-E-W-R. I'm embarrassed to say that even a year ago, I still didn't know these guys. My bad. They're good. It's David Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.